Okay, this is number 11 in a series of videos that I'm making as supplements to some tutorials I posted on my PFSense blog at pfsensesetup.com. And this video will cover OpenVPN. In fact, it's probably going to take two videos to fully cover OpenVPN. Uh, at least two videos, anyway. But uh, let's just look at some bulleted points on the OpenVPN protocol. It use, utilizes... Uh, Secure socket layer slash a transport layer security for key exchange. Uh, it lets OpenSSL do the encryption and authentication work. Um, I don't, I'm not aware that there's an RFC that uh, related to uh, specifically to OpenVPN. Um, it can run over user datagram protocol and transport control protocol UDP and TCP uh, if you are using Windows as your client then you're going to need uh, third-party software uh, so you're going to have to use uh, something like OpenVPN connect if you're if you're uh, using Windows as the client and one additional thing that I didn't mention here but is worth mentioning uh, it's um, it's a good alternative to use if your internet, if your ISP blocks, say IPsec, uh, for non-business grade for non-business grade customers. So uh, something to consider. So let's log into the PFSense web interface here, and we're going to. Configure OpenVPN. We're going to go to top top menu and browse to VPN OpenVPN. And there's you can configure this manually, but we're going to try to use the uh, wizard here. We're going to, go to wizard, and uh, there's different types of servers you can use LDAP or or uh, radius but we're just going to use a uh, local user access so click on next here descriptive name okay we had to create a certificate authority certificate my new CA and we need a country code so we're going to type United States state or province is going to be New Jersey and we're going to type in a city and organization and an email address and we're going to click on add new CA now it wants us to create a new certificate very similar to the the previous Page, and in fact, it's filled in a lot of the a lot of the fields for us. So we're going to click on Create New Certificate, and then it brings us to the general OpenVPN server information. Uh, we're going to be listening on on the WAN interface. We're going to leave this set to UDP. The local port default is one one nine four. We're going to maintain it as that and we're going to maintain the default cryptographic settings and our tunnel network is going to be an unused subnet 192.168.4.0 and and we have to use CIDR notation so I put slash 24 here um, and for local network is 192.168.1.0 slash 24 we're going to allow 10 concurrent connections we're going to leave the client settings unchanged and we might do a a separate video just to cover some of these other options and I'm going to click on next and we're going to cl click on add a rule to permit traffic from clients on the internet to open VPN service process and add a rule to allow traffic from connected clients to test across the VPN tunnel so we're going to create two rules we're going to click on that and our configuration is complete. We'll continue on the next video.